She's pretty early, fellas, but you're never going to believe who rolled into town for the last couple of days of moose hunt. <laughs> there he is, the one and only Brandon. Yeah. And look who he brought oh, with him. Duff. He brought the man, the myth, the legend, the legend maker, <laughs> Steven. Good morning. Make yourself homely. Oh, yes. Stand back. It's oh, dangerous. Oh, the, if you need anything, we put it right in there. Donald, we got Donald here. Absolutely. First time on the channel. He's yeah. Hopefully gonna shoot a cow moose today. That's the plan. Yeah. Get the late start on the week, but we're gonna try. No yeah, if you were you know, you hear about day four, day five, day six moose, and you guys are just taking the shortcut. That's it. <laughs> we get all stock moose out of the way. We got native <laughs> native ones now. Starting on day four of the yeah. moose hunt. Let all the easy ones get killed first. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie built this jewelry box. Steven, what do you think of that thing? Open that, that thing up, Dad. Nice. Man, who's in it? <laughs> yeah, Steven won't have to do it. <laughs> the, the outhouse is right down there. <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought he makes kids fight it. <laughs> hey, you think we ought to take one of them home to daddy, mammy? Take one home to mama, what would she say? Would she scare? <laughs> take it to school for the teacher. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you just got back from Ohio. Did you bring your sunglasses, your glasses back? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you had a good hunt. Real good, huh? Yeah. It's about eight trips for one buck. Well, what are you guys thinking for shooting the moose? Is it gonna happen this morning? Hey! You got the you got a record day. Yeah, get in. It's yeah. 55 degrees right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send turn I'm gonna turn I'm gonna send you with Donnie and Joe go try to catch a coyote. You wanna come coyote yeah. trapping? Yeah. Are you gonna help them shoot a coyote if we get one of them trap? Or fox? Fox? Yeah. That's how they used to trap a lot of coyotes. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. In Maine? Yeah. Home. Yeah. Down home. That's all. Yeah. Grandpa retired from the Coast Guard when he was 38. He lived to be near 80. Day. Huh? Well, I shouldn't say he never worked another day. He never punched another time clock for the rest of his life. Wow. He dug some clams and fiddled around. He used to raise an unbelievable amount of vegetables. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, like, yeah. he used to farm acres and acres and acres like and acres by hand. Oh yeah, he'd come back to us for twenty dollars. He'd give away three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it, it was about back there. You're talking in the seventies, and you know, three or four dollars. You you made two trips for the baskets. I mean, now nah, it sure as hell wasn't a profit information. But, but he I mean, grew some. He that's, didn't want. that's what me and my brother did with little kids yeah. when we worked in the garden with Gramp. Grandpa always had us. Yeah, but he gave, but he gave. But oh, give it away, everybody. give it away. Yeah. Everybody. Well, you know you messed up in my town when you leave your window open because you got a box of zucchini sitting on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That damn thing. Bath you know, works. We just started crawl the anywhere we Just crawl. We'd get out and throw hay on that. First of May. The only time you ever get in the woods is when you turn. He'd get in and turn it and it'd just pull itself out. It was like 10 of us on the 8 crew, B crew. I don't know if he rigged it like that or just came like that. Seven days a week. Handy for that. September, we got it done. The steel was four inches thick in a lot of it. And one pass x ray, one pass x ray. And I got all done, and my bonus check was thirty-eight hundred and sixteen dollars. I'll tell you, back then that was a lot of money. Went down there to row Ford and West Burton. Couldn't bring it home because I didn't have money enough to pay the taxes. <laughs> <laughs> and couldn't, couldn't beat him down enough to huh. get, out get of it. Really. I had to wait until two weeks until I had enough money to pay huh. the taxes. <laughs> huh. Eighteen years old, of course they weren't going to finance me. No. Yeah, didn't care how much money I had, and didn't care where I stole it. But that no. wasn't going <laughs> to. Right. Yeah. But anyway, I got that. 
But that's just what a pickup truck costs them, twenty eight hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. Wicked. <laughs> yeah. No matter how good well yeah. you were at the end of it, we yeah. it wasn't how much you drank, it was how many divorces you Yeah, had. that's it, you know. Yeah, I yeah. worked there too. Yeah. <laughs> was there, probably about the same time you were there. When were, do you remember what year she was there? Uh, 75, 79. Was that okay, when you were there, Donnie? Yeah. Let's see, I was there about uh, 68. Yeah, where to? Bath Island. In 75. They, they had destroyers in there they were building when I was there. Storage units. The destroyers, there. Destroyer ships. Not good. Two guys hard of here and trying to have a conversation. It's pretty interesting. Yes, it's an interesting conversation. Yeah. I was an outside machinist. Yep. Uh, but Christ, we do more homework there than working for the company. Yeah. Oh, I belt buckles and uh, lunch oh bills was my big thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was down the tin shop. Yeah. In. Uh, that's how it ended up. He well, still got belt Korea. buckles of like punches out of a punch. Yeah. yeah. They'd take them and they'd put a piece of wire, tick yeah. wire around them, make belt buckles yeah. and stuff. Dad still has That's them. pretty cool. Between two pipes doing a weld over a piece of pipe and the boss come up and goose me. My knees went down between the two pipes, popped them both out of the sockets. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, that was, that was ugly. Yeah, yeah. They didn't do Jimmy surgery. Jimmy Robinson was supposed to be holding the ladder for Dad up the stud mill. If Jimmy was drinking coffee, smoking cigarettes, talking to somebody, and Dad fell off flat of 52 feet right to the ground. 52 feet? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't hurt Jimmy when you fell off a ladder. <laughs> yeah. 52 feet? I was up on the low log deck, feet. had the ladder on the log deck, and up on the side of the building. That, that, it was a down day. Well, it was a down crane, day, all right. Yeah. Them cranes down up there day. on the log deck. They were working on someone got up there and working on it because they want to check that out and they started swinging that boom because that whole log deck Jeez. It's amazing how much they shipped. I've been buried three times. I've fallen three times <laughs> Weren't none of them any good. I <laughs> broke 30 bones Did you live? Holy shit. Did you live? Yeah. Yeah, made it. You got buried alive up in Holton. Drain come by. Yeah, winter time. Road closed up. What was you down? Underneath welding or something? Put, there, put, 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 he used to put them 30,000 gallon propane tanks in, like the big urban oh, farms yeah. and stuff. That's what he yeah. used to do. The yeah. train come through? Train went by and the road closed up. It's hard to believe, but in slow motion, the other guy was in the hole and I jumped in and pushed him out. And uh, we had an excavator across the trench. I mean, it's the width of a bucket. And it closed that road right up just to frost. Just to impact. They had to bring in another excavator to get me out. <clears throat> Break anything? Uh, 18 fractures in my pelvis. Oh. Yeah. I look like you a whole steam ball. <laughs> Perfectly black around my rib cage right to my knees. <laughs> yeah, small Peter long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see that for about six weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. <laughs> Knew better, yeah. Nope. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Whoa! You behave yourself. I gotta go out and unload the truck, okay? Whoa. You guys need a hand? Nah, we're all Boy, that, that David Ames sure got us in the long run. Yeah. We whooped him pretty bad in cribbage and everything else in life, but he... He, he gave us something, and it was a runny nose and a... Sore throat. Sore throat. <laughs> Cough. Oh. Yeah. He said he had allergies, but I don't think it was allergies. No, it was more than allergies. Yeah, that friggin' David Ames, he got us pretty good. We'll get him, but Donnie and I are headed out of the trap line. We had a wicked late night last night. I was up till past midnight, up before five. But we're still gonna hammer on it. The boys are up for a moose hunt. We're excited for them. And uh, hopefully they get a cow today. You know, it's a cow moose hunt for them, but Donnie and I are gonna check some coyote traps. And uh, Donnie's favorite thing is watching somebody pull that spider box, and he got to see it this morning. Yeah. You missed it when Brandon did it. I wasn't taping, but no, I... Brandon might have been the best one yet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he freaked. <laughs> oh, that, that was good, though. Yeah, Steven got it good. Up <laughs> so quickly that he hardly wet his feet. When he saw us, he let out a piscia and ran back into the woods. We could hear the poor rabbit pant for a long time after we rescued him. And strange to say, he never tried to get out of the boat. 
but when we got to camp, I picked him up again by his ears, and this time placed him on a friendly domain. He showed his appreciation by his quick scampering into the brush and out of sight. The fisher belongs to the weasel family. His fur is one of the most valuable furs worn today. The beaver. The beaver. Oh. He dropped the dirt beside the pail, then turned Look it out and placed it in the shape of a dam. <laughs> In the floor. When the oh, you see it the sunrise every day, work, isn't it? Yeah, he climbed up into the hunter's lap, looked at the dam and empty pail, and then into the hunter's face with actions yeah, that expressed his mind nearly as well. Kind of mild today. Words, what is it? Sixty come... degrees. Yeah, sixty degrees. Yeah, it's hard to believe it was fourteen. Well below freezing. It was fourteen. Yeah. Plenty of tracks up this road. Yeah. And nothing, huh? Yeah, that is good choppings. Okay. Good luck, right. fellas. Keep her under 100. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back at camp probably 11.30 ish for dinner. All right, what do you want? Donuts? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Celebratory donuts? Yeah, there you go. I got burgers and dogs to cook still. Keep them straight, Stephen. Absolutely. Land it. See ya. Well, it has been a busy day. <laughs> Donnie and I each got the crappy crud. His buddy David Ames came up and said he had allergies, but he had crappy crud, so now we both got it pretty quick. But super busy day, as you can see. I got all of our boxes ready. I painted a bunch of them up just to get that newness off of them. Uh, a friend of mine told me it's important that they're colored or or hidden better so I'm gonna try it but every one of them's got the right trap in it these are all 120s these are all 155s these are 220s these are 120s and these are Belle Isle 120s with a 160 in that one so we got about 108 traps I think it's gonna be a challenge to get them out there and tend them all and, and bait them all too I got some fish some partridge some squirrels and who knows what else we might be using some coyote meat if we have to uh, we'll use whatever we can but this is one of the funnest jobs right here of the season we are going to be cooking skunk soup with petroleum jelly white petroleum jelly so here we go so you just want to take this and fill up your your pan with it. Don't use your your best cooking pans. And if it doesn't all come out at once, it's all right too. This is one of the absolute tricks to Martin and Fisher trapping. If you want to have the best scent, no matter if it rains, sleets, snows, is 80 degrees or is 80 below zero. This has been one of my tried and true go-to tricks. As I melt down Vaseline or petroleum jelly, scent free if you can get it. Then I mix it in with my skunk, pure skunk. And I won't tell you the ratio because it changes. And then when I <coughs> make my set, I put this near the set to bring them in because skunk is a distress call from a prey animal. If a predator smells that, even if he's not, even if he's never seen a skunk in his life, 
never smelled a skunk because he lives up here in the woods and there are no skunks. He still knows there's a prey animal in distress. Because all your mustelid family, you know, your weasel, your mink, your fisher, and your pine martin all spray as well. So they understand what the heck's going on. And they're not just prey sometimes, they're also the predators. So when they smell that, this is a super, super long distance call. This is not a short distance call lure. Skunk gets out there and pure skunk is by far the best. So I mix that in and then when I make a set, I take my ax and chip a little, make a little roof from a tree and get this underneath it. And then it can rain on it, it can snow on it, it can do whatever it wants on it. It's not gonna affect it. And then every time you visit the set, you just take a little stick and you stir it. And that makes it new again. And at the end of the year, you could even take it back. Use it again next year. Depending on how strong you make it. <coughs> but it, I would say, having the best skunk is one of the biggest keys to trapping Martin and Fisher. If you're anywhere near them. Alright, there's one jar. And that is... <coughs> 20 ounces. 20 ounces. This container that I'm going to put it in is 22 ounces. So we might be putting a little bit extra skunk in it. That'll be the first batch of skunk. We're gonna make a couple batches this year. You don't want to burn that jelly. So nice and slow. Let her cook down and she'll become a liquid. And then when you take it off the heat she'll harden again. <coughs> that is some strong skunk and it did spill I thought it might have spilled that is the good stuff right there we're gonna get a little serious with this pretty soon I think that stuff's about 30 something dollars an ounce now, so you don't want to waste it. So I got four jars there, and I got, <coughs> oh, I got quite a bit there too. We're looking pretty good. That is ridiculous right there. Then you want to get her good and mixed. If 
you don't love the smell of skunk spray, I think I'm gonna do a bottle and a half. I'm pretty, pretty rich on this stuff this year. Oh yeah, that's pretty strong. Whew. It helps when you got a cold. Because it's not quite as strong in your face, but I think that's pretty strong. When Brandon and the boys get home from their moose hunt today, I guarantee they say something about that, but they're used to smelling skunk anyway. Nah, you know what? We're going to put the whole damn thing in. We want to catch fur. <laughs> then you're just going to keep mixing her up. She will eventually congeal again. Since I used a hot soup container, I think it'll take a while for it to congeal, but she's mixed in there pretty good, as you can see. That's it. That's how you make the best dang skunk urine in the woods. Get a little on your hand, swipe it on one of them boxes. But yeah, that's how we're looking, guys. We're uh, we're set up with what do we got? 36 times one, two, three, four, five, six times three is 108 plus five, six, seven, eight. So 116, looks like 116 right now. Um, hopefully everything works, hopefully. Hopefully we got enough skunk. I know I got enough skunk. I got plenty more I can make later on. Well, so much for a good supper. <laughs> the rest of the crews got a moose down. Joey and I's here eating a huge one, meal. <laughs> a huge meal I had ready, thinking they might be back, which is kind of stupid of me because, you know, this, this kind of thing has happened more than once. But, uh, so Joey's off to help him locate the moose. Yep, Donnie made one hell of a meal. I'll show you guys that. We got biscuits. I might take an extra biscuit for the road. Is that all right, Donnie? Yeah. Mashed taters, green beans, and a couple different pork loins that are tremendous. He's got the flour ready for the donuts in the morning. Yeah. He's been eating pretty good. It's yeah. nice and cozy in camp right now. We're just kind of waiting. We got a lot of work done today. Yeah, we haven't even had to put the stove on today. It's been what, 60? It's 60 outside and 73 inside yeah. on the last day of October in 2024. Unbelievable. I guess I got to go to work. I guess. It's bedtime. I know it. Don't yeah, wait yeah, up you for were us. Up. Till midnight last night. Yeah. Was it last night? Night yeah, before? Yeah, got up at 4.30 this morning. Right. Oh, so I'm running on about empty. And Donnie and I are both sick from David Ames brought up a sickness. He called allergies, but... More than allergies, believe me. <laughs> oh, yeah. My nose has been running steady. We got it out. Yeah, I got a message from Brandon. All it says... Of course, you know, you could be a lot better on your messages, Brandon. It says... Good blood, thought it might be down. That's it. And this is a, oh, an hour ago, so it doesn't say come help. It doesn't say anything. Couldn't say a little bit more than that, so. I think I know where they are. Well, good luck. Yeah, I'm getting my boots on, Donnie. I am beat, but I am going to go help a friend. You guys know that about me. I would be much No. I'd be tripping over myself. You stay here, and if, uh. If they come back the other way, oh, yeah. I'll come back. If I don't find their truck, I'm not doing anything. Alrighty. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. Well, 
I found them. <laughs>